Sun CEO has emailed employees painting a grim picture of a bloodbath in China, quite literally a bloodbath. The car market, especially the EV sector, is spiraling into chaos and car manufacturers are caught in a tempest of trouble. His words, ominous and foreboding, linger in the air like an impending storm. I've just reported on a renowned electric car manufacturer, a darling in Europe, now facing a dire situation. The once thriving company featured in immensely popular videos has stumbled into darkness. With millions of views, the company, desperate and teetering on the edge, has stopped paying its star and terminated most of its workforce. The hope now is that someone, a savior, will step forward and rescue the company from the brink of complete ruin. The despair echoes through the corridors of the corporate world, leaving a chilling trail of uncertainty. The narrative unfolds, revealing a shocking tale of industry giants facing an unprecedented crisis. Now, let's delve deeper into the shadows of uncertainty. Another giant in the EV realm, one of China's top five manufacturers, joins the tragic chorus. This behemoth, too, has halted payments to its beleaguered staff. A desperate cry for help emerges, seeking an alternative solution to a problem that seems insurmountable. The question looms, is this the next Tesla, or are we witnessing a perilous illusion? In this unnerving landscape, transparency becomes a casualty. Are these companies revealing the unsettling truth about their current predicament, about their failure to meet payroll obligations? The uncertainty thickens, casting a dark shadow over the industry's credibility. The air is heavy with anxiety as the tale unfolds, a cautionary whisper echoing through the corridors of financial speculation. As we navigate through the enigma of Nita's finances, a captivating and perplexing narrative emerges. Odyssey have long marveled at Nita's ability to produce affordable electric vehicles on a grand scale. A perplexing mystery lingers in the air, how can they craft such marvels at such unbelievably low prices? Nita, the wizard of cost-effectiveness, seemingly defies the rules of the industry. However, the veil is lifted, revealing a clandestine truth. Nita, in its quest for greatness, has engaged in a staggering 12 rounds of funding, a relentless pursuit of financial salvation. The narrative shifts, and now the stage is set for an IPO on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, a desperate gambit to secure public investment and avert the impending cataclysm of bankruptcy. The Fragile Dance on the Financial Tightrope Now, let's explore the fragile dance on the financial tightrope. Nita Otto, born in 2014, once a hopeful contender, now grapples with the harsh realities of survival. With 2018 marking the launch of its first EV, the N01, Nita secured substantial funding, paving the way for vehicle deliveries that seemed promising. A paradox unfolds, impressive monthly deliveries averaging around 14,000 cars, yet overshadowed by the looming specter of financial turmoil. As Nita faces the harsh truth of a decline in sales, whispers of trouble reverberate. The belief that their EVs are sold at such a bargain that losses mount with every sale gains momentum. Price reductions, hailed as a price war, only intensify the skepticism. Competitors, like B, enter the fray, reducing prices in a strategic move that raises eyebrows. The delicate equilibrium of the market is disrupted, leaving investors in a state of trepidation. The recent echoes of delayed year-end payments and the uncertainty surrounding Nita's financial health draw unsettling comparisons with the once-failed hi-fi electric car manufacturer. The company's reassurances clash with the disquiet among investors, leading to a pivotal question, can an IPO rescue Nita from the looming abyss? As we continue our journey through the tumultuous landscape of the Chinese EV sector, the murmurs of discontent grow louder. Car News China reports that Chinese citizens are raising alarms about Nita's delayed year-end payments. The revelation unfolds when an employee, a voice from within, discloses promises made by the CEO and chairman regarding payments after the Chinese New Year. However, the narrative takes a disconcerting turn as the human resources manager extends the timeline to March, a delay shrouded in ambiguity. The ripples of skepticism reach their peak, drawing eerie parallels with the demise of the hi-fi electric car manufacturer. Nita's response attributes the delay to an extended collection period due to the Chinese New Year, a justification met with skepticism and disbelief. The assurance that there have been no salary cuts or layoffs clashes with the unsettling atmosphere. Outside investors, keen observers of the unfolding drama, questioned the company's stability. The looming IPO, once seen as a beacon of hope, now appears as a desperate plea for survival. The European car market, once a coveted arena, is now a battleground marked by uncertainties. The ebb and flow of Nita's fortunes. In the ebb and flow of Nita's fortunes, contradictions abound. While the company ambitiously targets the European car market, collaborating with European banks and announcing grand ambitions for the NSS estate, a contradictory narrative unfolds. The recent deceleration in sales grabs headlines, casting doubt on the company's trajectory. 
The once mighty Nida now faces challenges positioned as the sole mainstream Chinese EV manufacturer witnessing a decline in sales in 2023. The financial dance becomes more intricate as Nida, seemingly hemorrhaging money with every EV sold at rock-bottom prices, initiates a price war. In a bold move, they slash prices on several new vehicles, a tactic mirrored by competitors like B. The battlefield of pricing strategy intensifies, leaving investors and enthusiasts alike wondering are these maneuvers signs of a resilient market or the desperate acts of companies struggling to stay afloat? The uncertainties persist and Nita's future hangs in the balance. The tides of the EV industry shift and Nita, once a symbol of affordability, grapples with the complexity of sustaining a profitable venture. As the narrative unfolds, the question echoes, how long can Nita sustain this delicate dance before the music stops? The Ominous Symphony of Chinese EVs As we approach the concluding notes in the Ominous Symphony of Chinese EVs, the landscape is marred by shadows and uncertainties. Reports of Chinese citizens raising alarms about Nita's delayed payments echo the troubling legacy of other fallen giants. The promise of an IPO stands as both a glimmer of hope and a stark acknowledgement of financial desperation. The whispers in the industry grow louder, signaling a collective unease. Nita's struggles are not isolated, they resonate with a broader narrative of a bloodbath in the Chinese car market, where thousands of dealerships have succumbed and financial strains have become almost unbearable. The legacy auto industry is not immune, with calls for government intervention reflecting a dire outlook. Investors are left standing on a precarious precipice, weighing the potential rewards against the palpable risks. The cautionary tale of Nita serves as a mirror reflecting the fragility of the Chinese EV sector. As we stand at the edge of this narrative, the future remains uncertain and only time will reveal the fate of these once prominent players in the electric vehicle revolution.